Hi, this is Mark for Ableton Daily, and I wanted to talk about freezing tracks inside Ableton Live. I have some tips for you. I know a lot of you already know how to freeze tracks. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, freezing tracks allows us to free up more computer processing power when working in Ableton Live. And for an example, if you have many tracks in a project, if you're working on a song or something like that, uh, the more number of tracks you have with the more plugins you have, uh, it's going to put a bigger load on your CPU. So by freezing tracks, what Live does is actually creates a file called a freeze file. And instead of playing back all the processing on that track in real time, Live plays back a file off of your hard drive. So how cool is that? And it's really handy, and you can freeze and unfreeze. To freeze a track, it's fairly easy to do. Just go ahead and uh, click on any track, highlight it, and just right-click on anywhere on the track, name, area, or like right here, and you'll have an option to freeze the track. And it'll take a second. It'll say freezing arrangement. And there you go. And you know it's frozen because Live displays a little light-colored blue background behind the track inside the timeline. And you'll also see underneath the automation menu, the main menu here, you'll find some of the options will be blue, letting you know that you, you are unable to edit the information in these areas, such as the fades or a plugin that you've added to this channel, which cannot be modified when it's a frozen track. If you double click on on this track here this will open up the plugin dropbox area down here and displaying and making this blue a blue color letting you know that you can't edit the track okay but did you know that you can edit some of the automation on a track even though it's frozen well if you come over here and if you select the mixer from this automation menu here and then on the sub menu just below that you have these areas where you can edit. Uh, you can change the speaker on and off automation, which is the mute. You can select the track panning uh, automation and you can actually change this even though the track is frozen. So you can still control basic channel settings such as the volume, the panning, and, and that's really useful. So you don't have to unfreeze the track. Okay, and I can go ahead and unfreeze that track by just right-clicking on the name here of the channel and just selecting Unfreeze Track. And there you go. It only takes a second to unfreeze it as opposed to freezing the track. It does take about a minute or two. And But I wanted to go over a little tip here. I know some of you guys are, including myself, uh, sometimes we can be afraid to freeze tracks inside live. Uh, or we try to avoid it. And the reason is, is because I guess we feel that if we freeze a track, we can no longer edit the plugins and and EQ and, and instruments inside the track. And it's just sort of a uh, convenience to not have the track frozen. Well, if you have a lot of tracks inside a project, here's what I would do. Just freeze all the tracks. That's right. Just select one of the tracks, like let's say uh, this this one right here, and just hold down the shift key and then click on the bottom or the last track in the project, and that will select all the tracks. And then you can just right click and freeze all the tracks at once. And the reason I'm saying this is because you may not know what, what tracks that you're gonna go back and edit. There may be some tracks in your project that no longer need editing at all and so you can just leave those but we really don't know which tracks those are so my suggestion is is just to freeze all the tracks it's going to take about 30 minutes to freeze all the tracks you might freeze all the tracks and go make a sandwich and then come back and then just unfreeze the tracks that you want to edit as you go along you'll realize that you'll have many tracks that no longer need editing and you can just keep those tracks frozen and just work on the tracks and unfreeze the tracks that you are constantly editing and changing. And so just a little tip there. And this will also reduce uh, dropouts in your audio if you have a lot of processing. 
Um, so different dropouts and hangs and the sound and the audio and clipping and, and all sorts of things. So it's a good idea and it's a good habit to, to make sure that, you know, you are freezing tracks when needed. And I wanted to point out something here. If you do have a grouped track uh, or several tracks that are grouped together, such as, uh, like my melody track or my have a melody group here, and then I have two tracks inside that group. And so, well, here's the thing. You can't select the melody group or any group track and then select another track that's not in a group and then try to right click and it's not going to let you freeze those together. So <laughs> uh, you're going to have to do it separately. So you'll have to just expand the group and then select the tracks in the group. You can select more than one, hold down shift and click on another one. And then you can freeze the tracks together at the same time. And if you were to just do one by one, that would take a long time. The reason why uh, selecting multiple tracks at the same time is, is really nice is so you can just set it and forget it. You can just select one, hold down shift, click on the last track in the project, right click freeze track it's going to take a while go make it like i said go go make some lunch come back and it'll be all finished for you and that's pretty much it so uh i think that's all for today thank you very much this is mark and this is ableton daily hey if you like the videos please subscribe uh everybody else is so uh you should too uh, <laughs> now i'm just joking but uh please check out my youtube channel uh, for other videos on sound design and music thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video take care